Today I'm going to be replacing a compressor that I condemned the other day. Power's already off. I need to borrow some power to run the recovery machine. I'm gonna click clip one to that hot leg, this to the ground wire, and put one right there. I need to remove this fan, so I want all power out of this. down to zero I need to hurry up it's not even nine o'clock and there's a storm coming I need to pull this all the way off Always, if possible, always try and cut out old compressors. I left my damn compressor tote at home. Deburring my cut. And these just kind of twist into place. They will try and fall out when you set the new compressor in. That was nitrogen. That just came out. Just a small tap. Don't want these popping out while brazing. Very small tap. I'm gonna remove the valve core from the liquid line. Both the valve cores are getting removed before vacuum. Hooking up my nitrogen flow gauge and regulator combination. So I've got my vapor line hooked up, remove the valve core on the liquid line. Now what I'm gonna do is make sure that this is open all the way and I'm gonna purge all of the air out. You can see the gauge moving up. And I guess it would help if I opened up this. Just want to get everything out when I braze. And then I'm going to back this down to the braze setting.
Boo! It happens. Just giving this a slight bend so it can hopefully stop popping out. Take some of that tension off it, and that makes. Always, always check the underside of your brace joints. If not, they'll come back and bite you. I'm gonna make sure we have the right liquid line. All right. This one's it right here. Man, this is a long liquid line dryer. And we still have nitrogen on the brace setting flowing through the system. Hook back up my liquid line hose, high side hose, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to pressure test the system with nitrogen. I usually just give it a quick initial burst. And then if there's a leak, 95% of the times you'll be able to feel it. I'm not feeling anything, so I'm going to go ahead and jack it up. And we'll go to about 150, or right around 150. Now I'll go ahead and hit up all my joints that I braced. I'm gonna release the nitrogen. I know that none of my joints have braced or leaking. Now, we could have a leak somewhere else, unfortunately. And we will for sure find out when we uh, hook it up on evacuation. All the nitrogen is released back into the atmosphere. I'm going to remove the other valve core. And I will be replacing these with new ones. vacuum rated APN valve core removal tool it's what I use I've been using the same ones for about four years now I change the o-rings every year here's my setup I use almost every time three ace vacuum hoses I only use for vacuum two APN valve core removal tools vacuum rated that is so I can isolate my micron gauge and do a decay test and 
I can brake vacuum without sending refrigerant through my micron gauge. And I got my other APN valve core removal tool on my liquid line. Valve cores are removed. My gas ballast is in the open position. I'm gonna turn the vacuum pump on. And I'm gonna open up my valve core removal tools. And we'll see how deep of a vacuum we can get. I don't have my hopes up on this one. As soon as we reach 3,000 microns, I'm going to close down on my gas ballast valve. Now I can hook up my new compressor plug. Here are my compressor wires. This is the old plug. Even though this contact is new, or looks new, I will be replacing it. Just because the cover to this was off when I showed up the other day. We still got low voltage going to this contactor, so I want to be careful not to ground that out to anything. I don't want to replace a transformer. Here's our new contactor. We're going to keep the shunt on the same side. Loosening these lug nuts. We said black was common. That's going to L1. Run is going to be L2 or T2 in this case. I guess L2 is considered the shunt. It's going to have constant power. Just get that snug for now. Um, L2, common side of the contactor. And our dark gray is gonna be our start. And we can hook that up to the perm on the capacitor. Now for the 24 volt contactor, this is live 24 volts, so I'm wearing non-conductive gloves. And we'll go ahead and swap out the run capacitor as well. Again, looking at our microns, we're at 355. I'll start cleaning up, and I can go ahead and secure this fan motor, and then we'll recheck the microns. Three hundred and thirty-seven microns. Now I'm gonna do a decay test since I've got, since we're ready for charge. Close down on that. Close down on that. And now, after 10 minutes, we don't want to rise above 1,000 microns. Zero out my scale. Get any moisture or air out of the line. Getting ready to break vacuum. We have risen above 500 microns. It's been about 10 minutes. Decay test passed. I'm not going to tighten that all the way. Push any air out. Zero out the scale. Isolate the micron gauge. Factory charge 3.8 pounds. 
now I'm going to break vacuum. And just watch my scale. We are very, very close. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down on this for now. Let me install my brand new valve core. Now I need to let the unit run for about 20 minutes or so before I check charge. I know my charge is going to be extremely close if not spot on because I did weigh it in. I'm just doing this to make sure that we have no other issues like TXV not working, maybe some airflow issues. So I just want to see a general, I want a good idea of what's going on in the system. And as we can see, just barely, barely undercharged. Our superheat's a little high but it's nothing that I'm going to, I'm not gonna sit here and fondle over this superheat all day. I'm just gonna remove this probe and I'm gonna add a little bit of refrigerant to get that sub cooling right about 10. And I'm still gonna be very mindful of my scale because I do not wanna overshoot this. I did end up adding about one pound from my way in. Got 6.3 on our compressor. And as far as our fan goes, we've got 0.6. Happy with both of those. Let's go ahead and button it up. There's our final readings. 10 sub cool, superheat didn't change much. And I put my probe back on. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I just gotta lug all this stuff off the roof down the stairs and I'm off to the next one. And I hope to see you there. My name's Dave, peace.